Kanda is the capital city of Miyagi Prefecture, Japan, and the largest city in Tohoku region. It is well known by its name, the City of Trees. Sendai has a population of 1 million, among which 300 are orphan children. In Japanese society, um, orphanages are, are hidden. They're not talked about. Almost everyone I talked to, my students or my friends that were Japanese, didn't know that Sendai had four orphanages. Had never even thought about it. It's something that had never entered their consciousness because they are kept sort of a secret within Japanese society. Mm -hmm. One thing that was very interesting for me when I started doing this research and getting involved in this area of Japanese society is that the word koji for orphan is actually considered a rude word in Japanese. It's a word that's not used, it's not polite. So who are these orphans? In our documentary, we'll try to present the following issues. The orphan social background, the role of the orphanage in the orphan's life, the role of the orphanage in, in the society, and also the effort, effort being done to improve the orphan's life in Japan. <laughs> We've decided to go and have a look at one of Sendai's oldest orphanages, built right after World War II in 1949. La Salle Home is situated in Higashi Sendai and is housing 79 orphans. orphanages are not real orphans, that is, they have at least one parent alive. This is why they can be divided into two categories, poor children and abused children. Poor children are in the orphanage mostly because of their family's poor economic condition, that is, their parents are too poor or too sick to take proper care of them by themselves. Sunshine, but try as I may. Hey, hey, ain't selling no diamonds today. But if you ask real nice, here's what they say Come back in ten years and you better. Abused children need special care and attention. Out of 79 children, La Salle Home has 12 such cases. This is the room where children come to receive treatment. And the therapist also participates in our meetings, so he's a kind of general counselor also for all of us. And basically the way uh, he or she, the therapist, performs is by, by playing. It's a playing therapy with the kids. I knew I wanted to work with children. I'm a children's teacher and I love working with kids. And I'd had a student who told me about when she was younger, or when she was born, her parents were both students. And at the time they were unable to care for her. So they placed her in an orphanage and left her there while they finished school. When they graduated, and they were both doctors at that time, 
they then picked her up again and just continued to raise her. And that seems to be very common in Japanese society. That's completely acceptable. In Sendai, when children enter the orphanages, they start living in apartment-like houses. Each apartment is under the supervision of one employee. Such an apartment has a kitchen, a dining room, and sleeping quarters. and to stay here as, as long as they can, during the weekend, for example, or uh -huh. uh, during a couple of days, and another for the, the kids. Last night, for example, for some, from Saturday to Sunday. Uh, uh, you said you're trying to prepare the families to mm -hmm. receive the children mm -hmm. back. What does this mean? Uh, basically, the job that we can do with the families is not... Um, we cannot work directly with the family sometimes, so we use other resources as far as social welfare uh, system is in, here in Japan. For example, what is called the Sodansho. The Sodansho is the official uh, agency who is taking care of all these cases. All the kids who are here, they don't come here directly. Uh, they go to the Sodansho and there all the cases are analyzed and according to the results, the Sodansho send the, the kids back home or place them in an institution. Mm -hmm. So in a, for us, it is not free for us to decide when the kids go back home. We need to be in, in touch with the, the officials, with the Sodansho, in, in order to have the authorization, to, to have the permit for the kids to, to be back home. So our work is together with the social workers. Uh, the official social workers, and also for us uh, working with the family basically by phone. Mm -hmm. just, sometimes even the, it is just the, the job situation of the parent that they not, doesn't allow for the kids to be back, or uh, another other tricky situation, economic, economic financial situations, and also social situations, or moving, moving around, other problems that are there. So we try through the employees, either by phone or in interviews, or in these uh, times when the, the parents the parents come to pick the kids up in order to go back home for the, the weekend. So at that time, the, the, the employees try to talk with the parents about the situation and what can be done. And we have an, an, an annual program for each one of the kids, and there we try to, to make it more specific in that uh, when the when can we plan for the kid to be back home? In two years, in three years, in six months, or during this year? And we, we work together uh, with the family, the parents, of course, as well as with the uh, uh, officials, with the social, social works and all the officials there. The results of the event were 
we had over $8,000 in American dollars, um, 800,000 yen donated, which was divided up between the four orphanages. The money that was spent on the event was um, as far as rental of the hall and the equipment and everything that we needed and the rehearsal hall was paid for by companies that made donations. The, the response from the Japanese people has been amazing, not only financially, but um, doing volunteer work, charity work, donations is not really part of the Japanese culture. Um, but the Japanese people, it's something they're really interested in. They just don't really know how to do it or how to get started. So the response from the audience has been phenomenal. All of them want to be volunteers next year. <laughs> Listening to LaSalle's director talking about orphans, I couldn't help thinking of a parallel between them and the foreign students living in Japan. Just like them, we are separated from our families. We are labeled as living in international houses with Japanese people looking after us. And we have host families that come and visit us from time to time. Exactly the way orphans are not being known by Japanese people who don't have an interest in them. The same way, Foreign students cannot easily make friends with Japanese people that are not interested in international exchange. While well, I was making the film, I was thinking that the orphanage is a place where uh, poor children are taken care of by benevolent staff and they live happily. But this, uh, this is not, um, uh, this is wrong information. I, I found this site. And um, I learned, I learned that uh, in some orphanages, children's rights are not fully protected. For example, uh, children uh, uh, in uh, staffing orphanages are uh, with children's letters and uh, diaries by uh, without asking them, and. Um, some staff abuse children or ignore bring at home and uh, some rebellious children are threatened or forced out of the house. After children leave orphanages, they have to face harsh realities. They have no one to rely on and some children are discriminated against in their job hunting and in societies. I think this problem is based on social prejudice and are in are occurring in closed world. But it is also true these situations have been improving. I was so relieved to see La Salle Hall. It was completely different what I was expecting. The facilities are clean and stuff looks so kind and I also learned um, so many people uh, support orphanages by holding charity concerts.